Hello, my name is Teresa and in this video I'm gonna talk about how you can effectively search the databases available at our university and save that hours of your time in your research. I'm gonna talk about how to use the multi-search engine EBSCO Discovery Service, but also I'm gonna talk uh, how you can search in individual scientific databases such as ScienceDirect, Taylor & Francis, and also I will mention uh, what kind of collection of ebooks are available at our university. Now you should be in the position of having a search query created. If you don't know how to create a search query, don't worry and watch the video on this issue. You can find it in our channel. So you have a search query created and now we are going to search for sources. First up is multi-level search engine EBSCO Discovery Service. This search engine search all databases which are available at our university. It means that you can very easily access all the articles you need. Now I am at the web of our university library. Link for this website you can find below the video. To access EBSCO we can use this search box at the top of the library website. Type your keywords here and press search. As you can see, EBSCO recommends you some popular terms, so you can choose some of the popular terms. Now I click on search and I will be automatically connected to EBSCO. If you are accessing a database outside the university, as I am, you need to log in with the data you use to log into the university information system. You can see that uh, you're accessing a database outside the university, also in a yellow top bar in EBSCO Discovery Service. Now I'm going to choose EBSCO Discovery Service. And I'm in the EBSCO. I have to again add my uh, search term here. Okay, now as you can see, we are in the EBSCO, but the EBSCO is in Czech language, so for that reason, we have to switch to English. You can do it here or some other language you can choose. Now I use only the keyword to search. Search results show me for keyword agriculture around 7 million items. That's too much to read, no one will ever read it. So I'm going to try to narrow down my search by using advanced search here. And I'm gonna enter the full search query. So for example, I can use here the boolean operators about which I was talking in the previous video. So I'm gonna write here more keywords. Okay, now I uh, make an uh, advanced search. As you can see, search query narrowed my search down to uh, 30,000 items. Let's narrow this number down even further. You can see here on the left side a filter which can refine your results. We can filter the results to, say for example, to full text or by year of publication. And also, for example, by peer reviewed, which I would recommend you that you always have a re review process filter checked in the article. If the article went through a review process, that means that it had at least a little bit of content quality check. 
you may find poor quality links even here in EBSCO, so keep your eyes open all the time. Below you can choose what type of document you are looking for, for example only academic journals. You can also filter here a language, English or something else. And also here in the content provider you can choose which database to search with DEBSCO. Maybe it happened that your thesis supervisor recommend you use only articles that are indexed in the Web of Science or Scopus. Web of Science and Scopus are databases where the best science is published. This is why you can filter here that you only want to view articles from Scopus and Web of Science. You can find it here, Scopus. And attention, Web of Science is not, it's not written here as you can see, but Web of Science is hide, hidden behind uh, Science Citation Index. Now let's take a look at what we found. Take for example this first article here. Here is a quick overview. You can read the title of the article. You can see here the author of the article. You can see that the article was published in this journal. It was published on April 2019. You can also see it's a uh, index set in the science citation index it means it's an index set in the web of science you can also uh, see here icons uh, like this icon it means that there is full text available uh, for you or for example this icon it means you can easily connect uh, citation managers Citace Pro with this EBSCO result. When we break down an article, we see more information about the article. For example, we can see here the DOI article, which is a digital object identificator. DOI is uh, to identify objects uh, such as uh, articles or books. It's like the ESBN code from books, if you know it. You can also see here uh, author's keywords. That are the keywords which authors use in the article. These keywords, for example, can uh, inspire you for your um, another searching. On the right side, we have here a toolbar. Here's where I would like to draw your attention to permalink. If you want to share this article with uh, someone and send them uh, this classic link, this, this link above, it will not work. That's why you have to create a, this permalink. Just click on this permalink and automatically it will create here a link. Uh, which uh, will take you any time to this article back. On the left side here, you can uh, see some other tools, some other icons. For example, here is the link to full text uh, from Science Direct. So you can just click on this link. And it will take you to the database where the article is stored. As you can see here, you can read the articles directly in your web browser, or you can uh, save uh, or download your article as PDF. All right, now uh, we have shown EBSCO, and now let's uh, look at how you can access the other databases. Okay, we are back on the library website. Now I'm under academic databases and information sources. 
Here you can see a table listing all the databases that are available at our university. You can see here the name of the database, uh, the type of the database, the subject. You can also see here information about whether the database is searched in EBSCO Discovery Service. And most of all, you got links that will lead you to this database. Click on the link, depending on whether you're accessing from campus or outside campus. If you access off campus, you have to log in with the data you use to access the university information system. I can show you an example. For example, I'm going to choose Science Direct and I'm accessing remote because I'm outside the campus. As you can see, now I'm in the database. It looks similar to EBSCO. There is some uh, search window, search box, where you can type your uh, keywords. Or you can write there your search query. As you can see, there is uh, thousands of uh, results. Here uh, on the left side is again some kind of filter. You can filter your results and here you can see the resulting records with uh, full PDF, full text PDF. Okay, now I'm back on the website of our library, again in academic databases and information sources. And if you roll down here, you will see the list of scholarly uh, ebooks which are available in our university and you can use is it for your research. So I would recommend you to use uh, ProQuest eBook Central here, as you can see, which uh, covered uh, thousands of titles from uh, multiple subjects. You can again choose if you are uh, accessing the database outside or from inside of the campus. Click and again you are connected to eBook Central ProQuest. You can change the language here for English and you can search for ebooks which you would like to use. You can uh, send those ebooks to Kindle, you can also read them in your browser or you can download uh, part of the books uh, to your computer to some citation manager and so on. So you can very find a lot of books here, so don't worry and use uh, this ebook uh, central. Okay, guys, that's it for me. If you have any question, just write us an email or write us a comment below the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.